I have never used the word saunter, and frankly, I think Thoreau's an asshole. But I liked his idea. Walk for four hours a day and see what happens. Walking just to walk is a rather new idea. In Europe, poets and philosophers decided it was a worthy way to spend their free time. Mountains brought people closer to God. Artists reimagined landscapes. Nature was sublime, virgin, and ripe for romance or exploitation. As a kid, I hated hiking. My mom had worked as a park ranger. This meant we were required to pay homage to every basin, lake, and rock she deemed worthy. My parents bribed me with gummy bears, but what choice did I have? In high school, my parents doled out walking as punishment. Walking was not something you were supposed to like. Get your license, buy a car, hit the road. The path to freedom was paved one way. Only later did I learn going for a walk was one of the few excuses that could buy me hours or weeks away from home. We spend our lives shuffling between air-conditioned spaces, each step an inconvenience, a hiccup on the road to peak efficiency. The question remains, what does a walk yield? How can I quantify what I have gained? Have I made any return on the investment of my time? Today I count 11 strange encounters. One parking lot Picasso. One wilted winter flower. One veiled woman. Three mismatched shoes. A bag of archaeological delights. Rarely much else. Most times I walk to get somewhere. Sometimes though, the place I end up isn't a location. It's a feeling, an encounter, an epiphany. I doubt Thoreau would have found much beauty in our town. Our maze of car choked arteries, parking lots which bulge like tumors and strip malls pressing at the seams. I say look closer, walk among the rubble.